Hi guys, welcome back to part two of my DIY solar tracker. Today's a beautiful day here, right near the end of March. A little bit chilly, but still pretty good. Thanks for joining me. I just wanted to go over a few of the build details of the driveline. Important to note is that uh, in this area here, you can see that there's uh, bolts holding the uh, two plates together with spacers in between. And uh, that is needed so that we can control the chain tension from here to the main drive for the array, the main sprocket. Also similar is uh, the mounting between the uh, this plate here which holds the motor and the worm gear drive so we need the same similar setup in here so we can control the chain tension from this sprocket over to this this is a, a trailer uh, wheel stub axle and I've removed the studs and replaced them with uh, six inch half by half inch uh, bolts uh, to mount the uh, panels so here we have a spreadsheet outlining the uh, gear reduction between the sprockets for the, uh, the drive assembly. The output of the, uh, the Bodine gear motor is 42 RPM. And uh, the final output will be uh, 0.93 RPM. So we have a gear, re the uh, coupling reduction is 0.5. So that is um, the, uh, the sprocket on the motor is 24, has 24 teeth. And um, the uh, sprocket on the input to the, uh, the worm gear reducer has 12 teeth. So that uh, makes it an overdrive. So that's why it's marked as 0.5 here for the calculations. The worm drive gear of the unit that I bought uh, is 60 to 1. And um, the um, so the final chain drive, so that's the output uh, sprocket to the sprocket that uh, is for the, um, the whole array on the hub is 1.5 to 1. So the total reduction is 45 to 1. That's on top of the uh, the gear reduction of the motor. So as I said, the output RPM will be uh, 0.93, and uh, that's uh, 5.6 seconds per degree to uh, change. And I'll have to go over a little bit uh, about the, some modifications to the sprocket so we could get uh, basically uh, one count of revolution per a degree very very close to that which i was lucky it wasn't something i planned it just happened out happened that way uh, by chance which is great so moving on got the photos here's the photo of um, the assembly before it was installed on the on the uh, post and uh, as you can see uh, we've got this overdrive system here this is the worm gear reduction unit and note that there is actually an adjustment here so I can adjust this plate which holds the motor back and forth like this way just to tighten up this chain okay this as I noted earlier um, as these spacers in here controls a, the uh, chain tension of uh, between this and the main sprocket on the on the PVRA so here's some modifications I made to the, to the uh, drive sprocket that comes off of the uh, Bodine motor. What I did was I added six of these bolts that uh, they stick out like this. And when it's mounted on the array, there's a sensor that counts each of these as a pulse. And that uh, drives a, uh, an interrupt in the, uh, the Arduino Mega. This picture here shows the sensor that we have so that uh, I can initiate uh, the counters and so on. The sketch for the Arduino. 
Uh, as you see it right now, this is the array in a position of uh, uh, basically facing parallel with the shoreline and it just happens to line up with one of the bolts that I put in that uh, holds the whole thing together. Eventually, uh, as you can see, this bolt here, there's one on the other side. That will be basically 180 degrees apart. I intend on uh, adding a couple of small headed screws and then backing and also a small headed screw on here and backing this down a bit so I can have more precise location. And what's going to wind up happening is I'll use that if the if this bolt here hits this sensor, uh, then that would be an out of bounds condition. And uh, it's just kind of like a safety stop in case something goes wrong and the you know the uh, the drive is going when it shouldn't be going.